A question of character. Solid Snake doesn't take on regular operations. Solid Snake takes on special operations. He is part of a team of four covert operatives. The other three died. Solid Snake executes Operation Intrude N313 to infiltrate Outer Heaven, rescue operative Gray Fox, destroy a walking nuclear tank named Metal Gear, and punch. Solid Snake will punch everything. A regular man would have knuckles the size of walnuts, but Snake is no regular man. His special operation punch stuns the enemy. I, I can't believe it. It then lifts them a numerous amount of times until they vanish from the earth. They are deleted from their humanity. His punch can also find secret doors. For instance, if he punches a wall and it sounds like wall, then it's likely a wall. But if he punches a wall and it sounds silly, then it's probably a door. Fantastic. Solid Snake starts every mission with only the essential items. A compact 80 pound radio transceiver, his inhuman fists, and a pack of smoky squares. Because you just never know. Solid Snake enters his missions without items because he would rather steal whatever the enemy is using. Like this super cool mind detector. Oh, what about this bomb blast? suit that just screams to be taken or how about this empty cardboard box Ooh, solid it. snake wears a dark green field suit with a matching green headband for battle fashion he is faced with an enemy force that enjoys taking cat naps and screaming out loud about how sleepy they are snake is not afraid of beating sleepy men he is also fearless against the vicious sleeping guard dog Essentially, Solid Snake will beat up anything that sleeps. Enemies that are awake? That is a different story. Solid Snake is not scared of an impossible assignment. However, moving trucks will always startle him. To complete his mission, Snake will amazingly haul over 300 pounds of stolen items and guns while poisonous tobacco smoke swirls inside of his lungs. A regular operative would likely be hurt while they gasp for oxygen or jingle all of this massive equipment around. But Snake is no regular operative. He is solid and special. Foxhound leader Big Boss provides him with mission advice that's too late. Like crucial information about a gas mask while Snake is choking from deadly gas. Prissy Jennifer only speaks to classy men over ham radio. Schneider is a helpful guy. What a great guy. Finally, Diane is first introduced to Snake by being in the shower from her brother Steve. And this only begins their suggestive transceiver conversations. Even a solid snake can get lonely. Ironically enough, even though Solid Snake spends most of his time alone, he sees himself as an army. When finding his items after he is captured, Snake mentions that he has found our equipment. Either Snake is paying respect for the dead three, or Solid Snake is mentally falling apart. But not so much that he cannot defeat the Shotgunner, Twin Shot, the Machine Gun Kid, Arnold, the Fire Trooper, Coward Duck, and a computer. Yes. What does the computer do? Nothing. Is it Metal Gear? No. It is a computer. Shockingly, Radio Guy Schneider informs Snake that the actual leader behind all of this Outer Heaven madness is Ark. Confused at this odd name, Snake ignores crazy old Schneider and follows Big Boss's helpful orders of going into rooms with pitfall traps. Wait a minute. That's not helpful. Then Big Boss advises Snake to cancel his mission. Wait a minute. Big Bosses never cancel. Solid Snake finally realizes that Big Boss is our Snake introduces him to his new friend named Rocket Launcher. Then Snake must escape from Outer Heaven, 
having just destroyed the evil computer. Any computer with a monitor this large is most certainly evil. Solid Snake, a one-man platoon able to adapt and perform in a flawless manner within any environment. And a man that is unafraid of taking your shit. Happy birthday to me. Next episode. Welcome to your doom. Quest with me. Learn with us. Enrich your mind. Empower your anchor like our material. Subscribe to our page. Put character into quest. Return every Monday for more. A question. Ah, oh, character.